Hey, welcome back to Mobility One. Here with Chris Duffin at, we're at the nascent Mobility One Institute. Uh, you're in town you're working with Mark Bell. We have a conversation we just put up. This is beautiful. We have a small M1 stick yep. that we love, but it's different than this. Yep. And I, I'm realizing that, like, I'm, I feel like the skinny, like, teenager kid <laughs> next to the old man who's like, let me lift that engine block for you, kid. Talk about this, because this is so important, and this belongs in the hands of every coach on the planet. Let me say that again. This belongs in the hands of every coach on the planet. That's how good this is. Talk to me what this thing is, and I've seen you work with it. Show me your favorite. It's okay. So there's basically three different ways that we use this tool. What's it called? It's called the boomstick. So this is a combo effort. You know what you call it the myofascial least tapenade boomstick. You see how that works? <laughs> yeah, keep going. So, uh, Donnie Thompson and I uh, were doing a seminar together, and he started strapping something together, and I'm like, let's make this. We, this needs to be out there. And then uh, we added some additional features on our side after it came out. So, one, it's just a, a weighted tool. I can rest it you know, on some extremities and uh, do the body tempering, just to, you know, that load over time. Just kind of relax. So if you're on MWOD, you know, we, do, we use the head of the barbell all the time because you need that weight, especially in the areas that don't have a lot of fat, yeah. the areas that are close to the donies, right? This, this is small. This is the same size as the end of a barbell, by the way. So Genius. It'll, it'll go into uh, devices that'll hold barbells that actually fix the, if you want to work on yourself, which is fantastic. And then the end, yeah, exactly. You can work the end, so we've got a nice contoured end. Uh, very similar to uh, the MWOT stick, except because of the larger size of this, we are able to get it a little bit we, we, we were never intending, we use this at the end on little stuff, but this is, this is fantastic. Yeah, like this, if it's too small, you're not gonna go drive into the pecs and do some of the, you know, no. some of the, the, this works really well. So you can work, your, you can work it on yourself, you can work it, you can be a super friend and help out a friend, uh, you know, work in the laps and stuff that I just, uh, Yeah, just let's talk about, about the last one, because I, I just saw you, so you, you know, work with Mark, you yep. by that, I'm sure they got some video of that. Yep. But like, show us how you can use it, because this is one of the things that we're big fans on, is that, you know, we are afraid to help other people's tissues. Like, we think like, ah, oh, I haven't been trained in that, but I'm like, you drove, I mean, you know, people are, are so sophisticated. How, let's, let's, let's create some, some endpoints. How do I know if you're hurting me with this? Uh, so what we do is, we very simply say, I want you to be on a seven out of 10 scale, right? And so tell me when you're there. And so I will start going in until they say, I'm good. See how simple that was? How many people have you broken half of this? No one. Isn't that weird? Because people are so self-protective on this thing. <laughs> yeah, and what we say is, hey, you gotta be able to take full breath in, full breath out. Yeah. Seven to 10, you can still breathe. Yeah, and we tell them we're gonna do this for two minutes. You need to be able to hang out and relax. And uh, so it's, I mean, it's that simple. So two minutes, this, is, this shows up a lot in our language, right? And what we have found clinically is that two minutes is long enough for time to actually make some change. All right, it's not magic, maybe it's 152. Maybe, 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 maybe right. the random controlled trial says that it's two minutes and eight seconds on this person, but two minutes is enough time to actually get some more. Yeah, yeah, we found that very effective. Seven out of 10, two minutes. Two minutes. What else? That's pretty much it. You're freaking me out. Yeah. How do I know I'm gonna change? Should I move my arm around or something like that? Yeah, yeah. So we right, so move, move our arm first, first and then uh so we test that and let's do it uh, let's fix your rib cage and see oh there we go. We didn't have quite all that much. No, color. no it popped. Yeah, okay. Let me see what about there we go. Yep. So we check uh, it may be restricted in here and here. So uh, let's go ahead and come up into this position here. Let's just say uh, we've got uh, some tight, tight packs. And uh, so we're gonna just go right in here. The pack, I might uh, scan the tissue to find, you know, just feel, you know, if we've got any uh, adhesions. So let's say I might just go in here, depending on where we're feeling, or if I find we've got some issues in the lab here. My, I'm a pilot, my lats are a mess. Yeah, I could actually tell that just that quickly right yeah, there. Yeah, right, because so, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel normal. How, how do you know? Because you felt some lats, right? Uh, I have. This is part of the issue. I mean, in physio school, they said to us, hey, you know, I was like, what's normal? They're like, when you felt 10,000, you're a little normal. So start feeling your friend's lats. Yeah. All right, so show me what's up. Show me, so, so you, just, you just come in? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here. You tell me uh, when we're at about a seven out of 10 on the pain scale. Okay. We have a timer here. I'm not on you. 
and the uh, nice contoured hand. Merely helps me just drive in there, it's over there. Let me know when you're there. Let me know if it's too much. Perfect. There we go. And is that where you're trying to find that spot? And then he hangs out. Hang oh, yeah. out. You can actually add the I'm breathing gonna, in I'm, here I'm, too? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to tell you to make sure that you're relaxing into it. Be aware of your breathing. Make sure you're not uh, trying to be a tough guy. Uh, this is fantastic. And you can breathe, just imagine breathing into that, into that spot as well. What I like about this is if you do have problems with institutions who are saying you cannot touch someone, are you touching me right now? I'm not. <laughs> you're, like that, not. you're like that annoying little brother, I'm not touching you. Exactly. I'm, I'm not, not touching, touching you. you. Yeah. And your body, you're not getting worked here, right? This is, no, this this is, is a really good this position. Is great. Uh, one of your coaches, uh, Travis Jewett, he bought one of these. Yeah. And he's like, he uses them on his clients, and he sent, he sent me a few emails. Saying, I freaking love it because it doesn't beat me up. Yeah, Earlier the, this the number of hammered hands and elbows we see, like that just looks like a good job. Yep. That's usually about the time. It's actually well before two minutes that we feel it's around, like just over a minute to feel it. Uh, usually now, like you can go harder. And I, but what's interesting is I don't, like it's just becoming so, pleasant. So, and then I may ask you, let's go ahead and uh, do some reaching with that arm. Go fuck yourself. Just a little bit. That's if all it takes. Much, let me know. And that's all it takes. It's a little bit of motion to wind that tissue up a little. It's fantastic. There we go. Uh, and come back slowly again and go ahead and do another. I think the technical term just is called mobilization with movement. You're yes. freaking me out, right? I yeah. think this was popularized by, uh, um, what's his name? Oh, yeah, Brian Mulligan. Yeah. Right? Who's, who's proven that moving tissues while they're under yeah. mobilized yeah. position, which is ART. So right? usually I'll let somebody relax. Uh, and we'll just be in the static position for a minute and a half. And on my timer, we're under about 30 seconds. If I feel that we're going to do this, uh, that's where I'd have to do it last 20, 30 seconds. Great. And Good. Uh, Dismount. Sure. That's uh, hey. weird how that Look works. Look at that. So Look at that. You go from full. And we only hit one point. So you go from full. Yep. Okay, there we go. Yeah, right? turn, turn, turn this side. How, how many, um, many pull-ups and how much deadlift did I do yesterday? And I rode, so because I'm an aerobic athlete, anytime I lift, I just drop in massive amounts of aerobic work between. So I did like 15 500s in between my heavy deadlift sets, because it's always oh, yeah. a good way to just make it more interesting. But I'm cooked today. And I think that's what's so amazing about this is that you know, one of the things that we're always talking about is that your tissue restrictions and your changes in your position, it's a moving target based on volume, load, Absolutely. how much you're doing. You're not done yet. Get back on the table. I ain't scared. <laughs> I ain't scared. There we go. So, so last, like, uh, maybe, if, you know, we're going to do that, uh, that peripheral uh, nurse, right? So, we're gonna so talk about this. So what we see a lot of times, and one of the great effects we see from the voodoo floss, is that we're desensitizing some of the, you know. Yeah, actually, this is great on the arm. Actually, that might be a more fun. Good. Show, show us, because this elbow problem is yeah. Good. So, I'm going to get uh, here, right here. And I'm just going to get in here. And uh, if we are tempering, I, you know, we can just lay this on the extremities. But what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to try to drive into the muscle tissue itself, but just enough to get into the fascia. And then I'm going to stay in this fixed point, and I'm going to twist it. Oh, Little little wind up, yeah. Nice. Little wind up. You feel that? Yeah, and I love that move. Then I'll move to a new position. He's basically taking the fascia to end range. Yeah, and he it just winds up. Go and do it, and it winds up, and now it doesn't go anymore. You get a little touch up. That's fantastic. It feels good, doesn't it? It actually is great. It feels great. Hey, hon, when I mean scratch my back, this is what I mean. <laughs> Perfect. J, J Star's always like, I'm not scratching your back. <laughs> She's like, you have daughters for that. But this is this is actually that amazing. Is awesome. So how much is? Let's be honest. I need you to do this to me. <laughs> I, I don't know if your wife is going to be bombed and we're going to move in together and how much it's going to cost me, but this is this is fantastic. And uh, that's really easy to, to teach, hit those spots. Yeah. I love it. Fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah, very easy. So the neural, the, so if you felt this, the neural on this is not like a barbell. No, not at all. So we machine this first and then do a double neural. Uh, so it's uh, not going to cut the tissue. So it'll work, it'll work through a shirt. So I was going to do your pec to begin with until you... Uh, said, hey, let's do my arm. <laughs> so I knew to do your arm. Uh, but you can do it uh, right on the bare skin as well. That's great. We can get these on, uh, this, is, this is so great. Uh, Kabukistrip.com. Is that the only place that has them right now? What's that? That's the only place that has this right now. So um, a lot of our products are available on uh, uh, Rogue. 
uh, Elite FTS and uh, soon to be Sorenx. That's right. Um, so those are our distributors, but uh, uh, some of these tools, we keep the margins pretty low on it, um, so we don't have the ability. Which is good for you, right? Because yeah, yeah. how much is it? One hundred twenty dollars. It's worth it. Get it. Yeah, I mean it's, it's, really it's a big twenty-two pounds of chrome steel, and so. it looks good. Like hey, J-Star, would this be offensive in our house as a as a mid-century modern object? Not really. I'm, I'm ahead of you. I get, to, I, I get to keep mine in the living room because it's okay. It's, um, it's a work. This is a work of art. Look at, look at. Is it all J art? I like to, I like to talk about my bespoke boomstick. <laughs> Dude, Chris, thanks so much. Fantastic. Uh,